So, David Lazax, thanks for joining us for Grass Chat. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. You're part of Grassland 2.0. You were working in the financing area. I came to Wisconsin in 2004. There were very few people at that point kind of talking about sustainability. Um, but I was also approached um, more on a kind of a, a contracting or consulting gig um, with a, another land resources, environment resources, uh, PhD, Bruce Kahn, who is then at Deutsche Bank Asset Management. Um, and so he went with his, from his PhD, he you know, went through the Peace Corps, got a PhD in environmental science, and then went into the investment sector. And he came to me and said, David, we want to do a white paper on investing in agriculture. You know, like, can you help? I said, Bruce, I don't know anything about investing, but I can, I can do the ag part for you. And uh, in 2009, we wrote a white paper on investing in agriculture. Um, and for me, that was kind of the, the, the watershed moment of, oh gosh, there might be other, other ways to think about how to, how to address global environmental change. I look at the world through a natural systems and system science lens. Yeah. But applying that to thinking about how we create a more biomimetic agriculture, and also transferring that to how do we create a more biomimetic financial system mm -hmm. that can support that agriculture is where my grounding is in a lot of these questions and a lot cool. of these dialogues. There's been many studies to date on the resilience of you know, more perennial, more grass-based systems, and it's just higher. And the, there's a lot of discussion about trying to pay farmers not only for what they produce, but also the positive outcomes of holding onto soil, building soil, providing biodiversity, et cetera? I think there's definitely has to be some shifts in the way that we think about how to support farmers, both through transition to more regenerative systems, but also kind of the maintenance of them. Mm -hmm. So is there a ton of money out there that wants to do good and be invested in the right place? Absolutely. We, we hosted a meeting last year, uh, specifically with bankers uh, around our regenerative agriculture. And uh, one of the slides that I put up as part of the uh, kind of the introduction to the issue and trying to, to inform and to educate banks about, you know, about, I would say, this opportunity and not, of course, just to organic, but really to this broader ecosystem yeah. of some row crops and more perennials and agroforestry is that we showed them that in Whole Foods list of trends for 2020, uh, regenerative agriculture was the number one trend. And for them, that was like, like if somebody like Whole Foods is a you know big player in this market where a lot of food kind of flows through, ah. then this is something that we as a bank need to pay attention to. Gotcha. A year ago, we released this this paper on on soil wealth, and that has really, you know, I'm still getting I would say an inquiry a week about. Is that right? Hey, I read soil wealth. This is great. What's next? What's happening? Where can we help? How are we doing this? I'm an investment fund in Australia, and this paper is, you know, exclusively U.S. focused. How can we plug in here? Um, and it's it's great that we, you know, that paper, and I think it, it did its job at really targeting the community. And we've seen investment bankers who who have, you know, I can't count the number of times where, uh, you know, gr uh, graduate students in business and MBA programs or, you know, investment bankers have come to me and said, I am so sick of just what I'm doing now, and I would say the extractive nature of our current capitalist system, and what you guys wrote about in Soil Wealth and the opportunity to take capital and move it toward a regenerative agriculture, like, that gets me excited, like, down to the core. Like, how do I help? What can I do? And we've seen new companies start. We've seen new investment firms start. We've seen more capital flow into this space. Hmm. And, you know, we just laid out a menu of options. Here's what can be done. And I think that there's, there's really, again, again, there's this wave yeah. that's coming right now of interest on the, on the policy side, on the academic side, on the entrepreneurial side, and the financial side. Yeah, super exciting.